Hello all. In this video, we are going to uh, see about process templates. So, process templates in Blue Prism is a basic one. Like, we'll be using that as an uh, a skeleton of the process, so that uh, you know we'll be able to handle multiple things like main page, of, main view of the main uh, view of the main page, and exception handlings and a linear flows and etc. So, here is an example. So this has been provided by Blue Prism and in most of the organization this has been followed is and it is one of the best practices and standards. So basically uh, this page, this process contains multiple pages here it's a main page which has an actual flow and by when we see the main page of the process we should understand the exact flow of the process like what is the exact step, what, what is happening and what would be the next step. Let's go into one by uh, one by one pages. So startup is a page where we'll, we'll be launching applications. For example, if you have any browser based application, we can launch it or it can be in a Windows application. It can be SAP, it can be mainframe or any applications. So that can be launched and login over there. And we can add some more validations like uh, we can do the application check or environment check. That is up to us. Like we can add one more page and then do that. And close down is just to log out applications when we end up the process. And populate queue is the process page where we use it to just load the input files. Like if if uh, the input is Excel file, we can just use the MS Excel views and get the data from it. And the same will be added into work queue. And work step one is something like you know do the navigation or any action performed in the target application that is browser for example or it can be any other application work, work step 2 is also same like you know steps involved in application work 3 work step 3 is also same and once things are fine then we'll, we can mark this completion completed if there is no issues if, if there is any issues we can use mark item as exception page and here we can see like there are we can consecutive exceptions so we give, when we change the limit of this from 3 to uh, n number if for example if the same exception is occurring in a system exception type and if same ex exception reason is occurring for consecutive three times then the process will be terminated if 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 it is not occurring consecutively then obviously process will be continued and this is the global data resetting like this will be used to just reset the variables globally and apart from this, we have a uh, get next item, which is already there in the main page. And here we can see count items. It is just to check the counts, like this will be reduced. And we, we can change it as per our convenient or per business requirement. And top after times, again, this, this can be changed based on business requirement. Here counts will, count item will be validated, like it will be minus one. And top validation, uh, decision, it will be validating the time. Item data collection is the item which when we do get next item, the results will be populated in these four variables. And queue name is the global one where we can just pass the queue name and so that wherever it is applicable. In get next item, you can see by default there will be a queue name variable. So we just need to pass the actual queue name here so that that will be replicating wherever it is applicable. And in main page, you can see a block where it is just covering only work steps because these are the main steps where we need to mark exception or completed because in startup and populating queue we're just opening the application and launching and logging it and then populating the items to work queue and here are the main major steps or main steps where bot has to work on so work step one work step two work step three whenever there is an exception in these pages this will be captured mark that as an ex exception and then continue with the next item to process when there is no item obviously yes it will be move on to close down so close down will launch and oh, sorry log out the applications and end the process thanks guys